Hey everyone, so Eternal here again. Today I'm bringing you guys a very fun deck uh, that was shared with us at first by one of our teammates in IC Gaming, Sonic Holic. And he told me that he saw it in the ladder, uh, on the European ladder, from a player called State Positivo. So credits to State Positivo, who was the person who I guess came up with the li with the list, or at least recently saw it, recently was playing it. So what is this list here? So this is actually a Carrion Sun Worker or actually Carrion Posey deck that plays Noxus because Legion Deserter. So the interaction here, if you guys don't know, because the Legion Deserter gets all ally everywhere buffs, when you actually convert a Sun Worker into the Sun Works Posey, all your Legion Deserters also turn into Sun Work Poseys. So all of a sudden you have an additional three Sun Work Poseys here that you wouldn't have before. The rest of the deck is kind of built with support to almost guarantee that you're able to get those units and get the Sunwork Posey enabled and going as fast as possible. For example, notice how we really only play nine units. So our nine units are going to be triple, triple Sunworker, triple Deserter, and triple Grave Physician. Because the Grave Physician, when you discard a card, it draws you a unit, which means that Every time you play the Great Physician, you have a very, very high chance of joining to the Sun Worker or the Legion Deserter, which usually is another Sun Worker, right? Or actually another Posey. Uh, so you also being really good at joining exactly what you need because you're not playing any other units. So because we only play nine units, why, how, how do we survive? Well, we are able, we're in PNC, so we're able to play cards like Coral Cannon and Yuri Rig that give us units without actually having to main the Kenny unit. We play stuff like stress testing so that we're actually to able to actually able to draw into our combo pieces. We play stuff like blood for blood and it of improvement to get multiple sun workers and multiple uh, a posse to actually be able to trigger the combo for this deck. Rummage and time trick, again, kind of like stress testing, gives us a lot of draw because we do need to have a lot of draw to actually get our combo pieces on as soon as possible. One get excited and triple decimate is just some extra burn there because remember, the Posey is not only a 4-2 elusive, but it's also dealing one to the Nexus every time he attacks. So he ends up being like 5 damage every single time he attacks, even more if you have multiple of them, or even an additional damage if you have an injury improvement on it. So all of a sudden, you can get the opponent really low, and the burn here, the decimate, the get excited, kind of lets you finish them off sometimes, if you need to. Triple Vision to kind of synergize with the Rummish, right? And the Great Physician. It can buff your elusives as well, or it can even buff your jury rig and your pearl and your daring pearls to actually make them decent threats. Uh, we talked about the setter, and then lastly, we do have survival skills. So the reason why survival skill makes sense is because in order for you to get the it's very, like the most important part is for you to be able to actually transform your first your first sun worker into a posy. Now, if the opponent knows what's coming, they can remove the first sun worker before you're able to summon the second one. So they can have stuff like Mystic Shot, right? Uh, or other sorts of removal to actually remove the Sun Worker from the field before you summon this, the, before you summon the second one to transform it to the Posey. And if they do that, it slows you down a lot. So a lot of times it's actually worth it to even save that first Sun Worker with survival skills if you need to. Or if you have already transformed it into the, into the, into the Posey, then you can go ahead and use survival skills to actually keep your Posey alive. Because unfortunately, this card only has 2 HP. So even after it is already transformed, it is still vulnerable to stuff like Mystic Shot, stuff like Get Excited, you know, Fervor and Biofeast plus Gohar, etc. So you need to be able to save them. And this is a nice way to do that. Because uh, you can obviously trigger this with Get Excited. You can trigger this with Rummage. You can trigger this with Great Physician. So you do have a couple of discard uh, a discard engines that you can use or sometimes you can just straight up just use it at the beginning of your turn to keep your units alive as anything like just pretty much raw cast it this is the deck it's a really fun deck i don't think i've seen a sun worker deck in a long time and this one actually kind of seems a little bit competitive especially really powerful if the opponent has no way to remove your early sun workers so if they don't have like removal, like a Mystic Shot or something, all of a sudden it's really easy for you to have three or four of this on the field and just be able to completely clear the board every turn while also pushing a ton of elusive damage. And it's really, really fun, as you'll see in the games coming up soon. So a little bit more on the meme side than we're used to in the channel, but I, has, I actually had a blast with this deck. So thank you for Sonic 
uh, for, for recommending it to me and stay positive when I came up with it. Hope you enjoy the games coming up soon. And remember, as always, if you like the content, to subscribe below. We post any of our videos every single day. I'll see you at the end of the, at the, end of the video for some mulligan tips. So in this matchup, we'll be going up against Ari Bar. Uh, that's kind of annoying, right? The annoying part about going against Ari Bar is that they have a lot of losers. The good thing about going against them is that they shouldn't have... They shouldn't have a really good way to remove stuff. Oh man, those survival skills is pretty darn bad though. I kept the precision because we have a lot of ways to draw into... Uh, like, we don't have a lot of units in the deck, right? So by keeping physician, we have a good chance of joining to the Sunwork Posse. Which is what we're looking for here. I wonder if I'm supposed to stress defense. I don't think I am. Yeah, there you go. We get the Sunworkers. Workers. Uh, we can summon and Blood for Blood, right? To transform it. Which is pretty nice. So we will get at least one of them triggered later. We do take four right here, which is kind of annoying. We can do four back in return. So we can do four to the opponent. The good thing is that these guys do one on their skill, which means that it's going to be pretty, pretty tough for the opponent as well to do anything versus us. And here we go. Now we get. Now we start working here. And now the opponent is going to know what, we, what we're trying to do. So they're going to know what we're trying to do, so they should be able to stop this anytime that it happens. We get double blood for blood, meaning that we'll, we will be able to... Uh, we will be able to summon another one of these next turn. All his cards have 1 HP right now, which means that they actually die to the pose. We do take 6 damage here, which is kind of annoying. Be my guess. I can create a second one, creating 2 skills that go on the stack. Opponent could have the stun or homecoming. I don't think that's going to be enough. Unfortunately, we don't have enough to summon... Uh, another one on top of it which is the only annoying part here but i think this is going to be so much damage that the opponent has to worry about it and then we have elusive blockers anyways right plus we can create one more by copying this the third the second person an opponent cannot really kill this unless they commit a twin discipline to say to protect themselves against the skill i wonder if i should actually attack with everything I think I do. He's gonna always block here, right? But that means the bar is gonna go down to one HP, meaning that if he tries to attack, the scuttler just blocks it. He loses the shadow assassin here, regardless. He's gonna commit the twin. You see, the data who's gonna have to do like a homecoming. Wow. So he actually has to commit the homecoming here, which is a okay with me. We still push two, three damage, and like we talked about, the bar gets a little bit punished. We'll summon the pussy right back. The only downside here is that we're going to have to probably block. So what we need to look for, we need to look for a rummage. Because if we get a rummage here, the double survivor skills is going to completely punish the opponent. Or we can just straight up play survivor skills right now, which is also an option. So let's try to look for the rummage first. We get the rummage. Wow. We could rummage, or we could just hard cast survivor skill, but hard casting survivor skills is vulnerable to deny. Now that the opponent did it this way, I think I'm actually okay hard casting the survivor skills. Because now this, this opponent cannot attack at all. And not only that, but next turn we're killing all his units as well, except for the 4-3 Morn, which actually is going to die as well because it's going to block. When he's able to attack right here. We do blood for blood on the sump works. Actually, we kill it as well because we have a third sump work post coming out. I forgot about that. And we still have access to rummage with survivor skills if we need to. Or we can just straight up cast survivor skills again next turn. So now what do you do here? You're going to have to have like deny or something, or you have to have to homecoming right now before the skill goes on the stack. Otherwise, you're going to start losing your elusives really quickly. And this is where this can get nasty because the skill does one to everything every single time. So if you have multiple of these at the same time, it gets really, really bad to the opponent. Oh wow. It has to have it has to be multiple homecoming then, right? If they're doing it like this, it has to be multiple homecoming. 
Oh, they already used one earlier. Uh, the survivor skills will go on this one, which is the strongest one. Yeah, so this, I guess it's going to be Stand United, but Stand United doesn't work because of the circle breaker removing the barrier. So it has... Yeah, if he's standing at it, it doesn't work. So what did he do here? I think I think he is gonna go for the stand United play. Yeah, I was gonna say you have to block with bar anyways, because otherwise he loses. He, he dies anyways, and you take an extra damage for no reason. Homecoming. So you still lose most of your units, and all you do is just recall one of them back to my hand you still lose the bar we still keep both elusives so you he recall that one but then also recall here so opponent messed up i guess it doesn't matter it would have been the same regardless we have one stress defense that we can play next and again opponent already used two homecomings well one telstone and one homecoming so they could technically have more which is kind of annoying we still have a blocker here for the bird his elusives don't really matter to me that much and once again, we once again we can literally hard cast the survivor skills, right? But I wonder if I actually want to rummage. Because the rummage is like a surprise blocker that the opponent's not gonna expect. If they tap out of the four mana, I think we just go survivor skills one more time, by the way. As soon as they have four mana, I think it's always better to just do the uh the rummage right here. And I think we are. Uh, let's actually do it here. Here. I want to see what I draw. Yeah, let's just do it like this. He has to replay that. So I'm okay with doing spending one more mana here. We keep this guy alive. We go a fourth one here. We can get another. We can get a fifth one. Boom. How does he beat this board? <laughs> How do, how do they beat this board? I don't think there is a way to beat it. We even have Vision on top of it. And then we have Decimate to finish up. This is such a nasty open attack. He loses his whole board. This is dealing five. <laughs> I love this. I absolutely love this. When was the last time that you saw the pussy actually working? Bye bye, GG's. <laughs> oh my goodness, that was gross. That was absolutely gross. GG's. So in this matchup, we'll be going up against Kaylin Esru, which is kind of bad for us because we do have a lot of like ways to remove our units, right? Meaning that even if we get the sun workers, it's gonna start becoming really awkward. Hmm. We don't draw them anyways. We do have rummage and we have a lot of discard for okay, so we draw one and we have the item improvement unfortunately the opponent can easily just remove this as soon as he comes down on the field which is the big problem here like as soon as this comes down in the field the opponent can mystic shot this or thermal or pilter or peacemaker and we're not able to actually uh you know what i'm gonna summon it right now I'm gonna summon it right now because this means that the opponent has to open with that mystic shot. If they get greedy and open up with like the house spider attack, then it lets me copy it and transform my 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 uh my sun worker. Which means that every one after that is gonna be already like the deserter is gonna be really transformed. So if opponent knows what's coming, they need to be able to kill this right now. If they don't kill this right now, we copy it, transform it, and then this transform into one of them now, and we can go from there. I hope they don't see it. Yes. 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 Because look what happens now. This becomes a Sunward Pose. Every single Legion the center that we have in our deck is going to become a Sunward Pose. So now we have two more naturally because we drew one. Three more with the uh, Legion the center, And we play either two more Iter Improvement. And we play three Blood for Blood. So we have... Three, five, seven, nine more of these guys, including the one in our hand. Now, again, we're going against that. We're going against uh, that uh, not so PNC deck. So, yeah, there you go. He's gonna have plenty of ways to remove this. 
should have plenty of ways to remove this. Now, we do play... Um, I'm willing to summon both. This will clear his whole board. He will have to have double Mystic here. Right? For this to be able to stop this. We have some of it burning in our hand. This is where the combo goes off, and we have a lot of draw for the rest of our cards, and we have other elusives as well. Um, I wonder if it's actually correct to just summon other elusives right now. If the opponent taps out of four mana, and I don't have to worry about a second static. Yeah, if I don't have to worry about a second static, I think it's actually correct to go like this. It just kind of sucks not getting the value from the Pearl Cannons on the Vision. But I think that's okay. I think that's okay, because we're going to go like this. We know that the opponent has no way to beat this now with one mana. So this is pushing 7, 8 damage there. Opponent goes down to 11. We still have one more next turn. Opponent decided to stun this instead of flocking this, which means that Tali doesn't have a way to stop this. Nice. We have Burn in our hand. We have Sun Draw here. We have Get Excited, so we have 7 Burn in our hand. So all we need to push is 4 more damage. The awkward part right now is that we have double rummage and no way to actually draw. And no, way, no, no really good discard fodder, right? No good discard fodder and too many rummage in our hand. So that's the first mystic. Second mystic or flock or anything like that. Scorch Earth. Wow. So why not do the Scorch Earth earlier if you're going to do it like that? You know what? I'm gonna discard. I wish I discarded earlier now that I got the improvement, right? But it's okay because we ended up getting another one. We ended up getting another one, but if I knew I was gonna draw into the area of improvement, then it was probably better to actually discard ahead of time. Oh wow. We don't we don't actually <laughs> We actually I'm gonna actually copy it just because it's better it's more stats than playing this one. Yeah, it's actually more stats than playing this one because this becomes a 5-3. Which means that it's not vulnerable to like another Mystic Shot. Uh, and we just keep the last one as a reserve, as a backup for later. This is pushing 2. 3 with his skill. Another 4, that's 7. Okay, yeah, so he has to dig, right? So he has to dig. And because he's digging, he's not going to be able to do anything. Oh, this was a Legion Deserter. That's why you kind of saw that animation. We will clear his whole board for the most part, except with one Archivist. Because uh, as long as one of these attack, we should be good. Opponent probably drew another Mystic Shot to be able to stop this first one. But if they're going to do that, they need to do it now before we attack. Because if they win to lock their attack, the skill goes off and it deals one to everything. Yeah, there you go. So he got the Mystic Shot there. We still get to push all this damage. Opponent still goes down to three. And then this is where the burn comes in to finish up the game. <laughs> it's kind of fun when this deck works out. When you just start getting all the Sunworks pose, posey, it's kind of crazy. This is the stuff that we want to see when we have like multiple runners in our hand. The stress defense gives stress defense gives us additional draw. So a little bit unfortunate we didn't get it. Yeah, I mean, sure. Boom. <laughs> I think opponent didn't realize what he was going against, unfortunately. We got lucky that they didn't have a Mystic Shot on that turn, turn three. To kill our subwork po uh, sun work guys before they transform. So yeah, GG's. So in this matchup, we'll be going up against trolls. Ah, this is so bad. Rabin is really bad for us, right? That's a lot of iter improvement. But I don't think it's correct to keep any of them. I think this is better. We have the blood for blood to also synergize with the sun work sun work workers. Rummage is also nice. It's a nice draw engine. The reason that I have the position is... Oh, man. This is not a good draw. You don't want to see this until you have your sum workers already, like, enabled. Oh, wow. That's so, that's so tempting. I think we can start like this. Okay, there we go. We can start like this. I think this is fine. Opponent even lets us push the 3 damage. So the problem in this matchup is the fact that we lose to an avalanche. We lose to a ravine, right? There's a lot of ways that we lose here, that we lose our sun workers here, which is a problem. 
and we didn't draw our um we unfortunately didn't draw into our uh survivor skills to actually be able to save our unit the fun thing here is that we get another one right the legion the setter becomes a sump pool a sump works pose pussy do we ever play around avalanche Avalanche is not real. Avalanche is not real. Most of these decks are cutting Avalanche. There we go. That way we get an additional 5 damage. Opponent will obviously just do the Ravine here to clear our whole board. And I'm completely okay with that. Opponent doesn't have any throws yet either. So, oh, okay. But that doesn't matter because you lose to the skill. But I guess he wanted to stop as much damage as possible before he does the Ravine right here. Yeah, so he's gonna do the Rabin now. No Rabin? Wait. Wait a second. This is eight. Wait a second. <laughs> the opponent is unfortunately a little bit brick. If it, if you, if you don't have Rabin right here, you lose not, you lose in the open, right? Because we even have Bishon on top of it. Oh no. No way, no way, no way, no way, Jose, no way. I don't think I'm ever summoning another unit here, right? So I think we are going to do Decimate. I think we're going to do the Decimate because I don't think I'm ever summoning another unit. I'm playing that hard into Ravine. So I think I'm okay doing the Decimate. Because if anything, if the opponent has Ravine right here, we can always just do Rummage into Stress Testing. He's going to deny this. <gasps> He's going to deny this. No. <laughs> oh, no. Do we still play around Avalanche? I don't think we do, right? I think we just go like this. Just go like this and call it a day. We can even put the jury rig, to be honest, and call it a day as well. And let's just go like this. Because we have the burn, right? We have the burn to stop the opponent, even if the opponent has sense of times like this. Yep. Because the opponent goes down to five, so which means that this was always gonna die, right? To to the sense of time, it was never gonna push the damage. So now we can go like this. When it goes down to two HP, we have a last second decimate. Opponent has six mana. He will be able to summon at least one throw here. If he does the rabin, rabin is not enough because the rabin then will kill him. The rabin is not enough. He has to be another. Oh. <laughs> Let's see what we have drawn. Let, you know what? Let, let's let him see it out. <laughs> I'm sorry, Axis. I just want to be able to get the multiple Sunworks on Sunwork Pussy on the field. I'm sorry, Axis. Go ahead, do your troll, do your troll. Yeah, yeah. I know, I know. You have you have a big troll. We blocked right here, which means that the Tali is actually going to die next turn to the skills. Opponent could technically have Rider Negation, but it's not going to be enough to stop the Elusives. The Rider Negation does stop all the skills on the stack. We even get another Vision here. This is pretty nasty. That's 18 damage, by the way. That's pretty nasty. That was actually gross. <laughs> GG's. So in this matchup, We'll be going up against any S rule. Ah, <sighs> this is gonna be bad, right? They're gonna have they're gonna have the removal that they need for our units. Block for blood is also kind of bad because he enables his he does enable his flocks on our targets, which is not good for us. Get it set is not great because I don't want to have anything to discard for it. I might kick the get it side out. There we go. We get one. We get one. Problem is Mystic Shot, right? So Mystic Shot means that we always lose this first guy. We need to be able to transform him. I think I'm willing to pass. Let's see what he does first. 
especially if he does this. I think I'm willing to pass. Let's see what he discard. Ah, oh, we got done time trick. Oh, opponent is so greedy. Wait, opponent is so greedy. That's oh my god, that's never right. So now look at this. Now they're gonna get absolutely punished by this. Opponent only has five mana. I guess they do have enough for do like a double mystic. I guess mystic doesn't even kill this one anymore. And our and our sub and our uh, deserter turn into one of them too. So we can play this here. We can even try to look for another one. We can even try to look for another one here, depending on what the opponent does. He might actually be correct to do it. There we go. So how does he beat this now? Again, double mystic is a problem, right? Double mystic kills two of them. Double mystic kills two of them. Otherwise, he loses his whole board and he needs to act right now. Otherwise, he's losing his whole board anyways to the skills. Opponent got so greedy with that static. He has a double mystic. Oh, wait. Blade and mystic. That also means no disintegrate, by the way, because if he had to disintegrate, he would have done it like that instead. Opponent's taking 10 damage here. 10 damage here. Wow. <laughs> I actually don't want to do the physician. Well, actually, so I, I want to do the physician on the stress, stress testing. All right, we can just do this. Be my guess. I'm willing to pass. So I don't want to do this now on the stress testing. Just because of the potential of us. Okay, so he has the double static check. So that's kind of annoying. Just because of the potential of us drawing into uh, something that we want to keep in our hand, right? Uh, we should have done decimate, to be honest. I don't think the decimate was ever going to get punished there. Just in case that we draw into another decimate, right? That's 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 that was my fear there. We got another Sunward Pussy. Opponent needs to kill this, so they need to have another Mystic shot. Or get excited. I think we always attack. I think we always attack and just push the one damage here. He drew, he drew the second Mystic. So he does do actually, maybe we actually needed to go for like because the problem is that even if we go for a second physician. We're never having, we're never having the, um, we're never having the mana to summon the second one, right? So it doesn't make sense anyways. Here we can do another stress testing. And have a blocker here. Blood for blood is not bad. Oh no, one is down to five mana. The opponent's down to five mana. We know they're gonna. We, we know we know they're gonna draw a mystic shot soon. The problem here with blood for blood is that it means that. The blood for blood is always a problem, right? Because he enables a block. He enables a flock. You know what? I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna force the opponent to have the flock here or have the blaze edge. For them to actually be able to kill this. Yeah, there you go. So they have the flock. This is still five. All we need to do is push one damage. Maybe we should have actually waited and, until he spent his whole mana to do that. We know he has a six cast spell. Because we could have gotten punished here by uh We could have gotten like a mega punish, right? This is so greedy. It's so greedy because opponent could easily have a shock blast when they finish here. So I think I need to attack. I think I need to just attack. We know that they potentially draw a mystic. They didn't get it. So we end up taking the win. Ooh, that was close. That was close. Because we knew that the opponent had a mystic in the top five cards of their deck from the archivist. And they ended up not drawing it there. So we were able to push the damage. We didn't get the decimate, which is kind of annoying. I definitely think I needed to open because opponent could have easily had a eight cost, a six cost spell from the currency like a shock class to punish the develop there. So yeah, GG's. So in this matchup, we'll be going up against Game Annie. Oh no. I don't think we can beat Burn. I think they're gonna go way too fast for us. I think they can race us down faster than we can race them, and our hand ended up being horrible. Hmm. Wow, this is so bad. Like we do have like pearl cannons and we do have 
uh, the, the the other discard one, the scuttlecraft, but we don't draw any of it. So he ends up being kind of awkward here. Let's go like this. Oh, and we drew double legion deserter as well, which is kind of unfortunate, right? So double legion deserter is also pretty bad for us because they come down so late into the game. Now, if we are able to duplicate our sump work, Posey, then we have a really good chance of being able to win. I think we have to unfortunately get rid of the deserted, and I think we have to go for the daring porous. I think we have to be able to, we have to be able to have blockers for us to even have a chance here. So we need to be able to at least have blockers, and we can start doing some damage here. We can do survival skills to save our blockers. Double rummage. Wow. So he's gonna attack with the Jin. The Jin's gonna trigger. We can go like this. I feel like I need to keep the Deserter at this point. So I feel like keeping the Deserter is correct. Just so that we're able to... Uh, if we're able to get the Sun Workers, we're able to actually copy them. Unfortunately, we can kill the Jin with the Get Excited. So that's a good. that's some good news there. We will need to join to another one here. Putin just Putin's about to do the virtuoso trap, so we need to be careful about that. That's a good start. Because we can do this. And there we go. We get the combo. And we also kill the gin in, in the progress. Yeah, so he's gonna get the free trap here, unfortunately, just because he had exactly two out of three. Um, which is a little bit annoying. We go down to 12. We're able to do the sump workers and copy a next turn, which means that the opponent's gonna have a little bit. Like opponent should actually be almost dying soon. I don't think opponent survives next turn, but I don't know if we survive the next turn either. That's the problem. We're able to remove the opponent's whole board. We can we probably gonna have to block with the Daring Poros, right? So we probably have to block with the Daring Poros. Do the sump workers right here. Oh, wow. If he's going to go like this, I'm completely okay with this. We just block like this. We go down to six. We would opponent really use one forever, so then we need to have a second one. Here we get the combo where this turns into another one. This is pushing 10. Opponent has the decimate. Okay, so opponent has the decimate. So it's very likely that they also have the fervor or have a second decimate in their hand. They could also have like any two costs. Like they could have any burn here, which is a little bit unfortunate. So this is not lethal, right? This is only pushing. This is not enough for lethal. So if the opponent has it, they have it. I need to do it. If they have the burn, they have it. I don't think I can play around it. If they have the last piece of burn, then they have it. They actually don't have the last piece of burn. Interesting. But they did have the stun, which is just as bad. We are able to clear his whole board at least. And opponent just does the fervor here. We would have needed to join to the get excited here. And we would have gotten it anyways. That's what I was talking about though, right? They can race us much faster than we can race them. And we also got a really awkward hand with the double legion deserter. Because we played the scuttle crap to have blockers early on if we so wanted so too. Maybe they get excited on the gen was a mistake. Well, I, 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 I don't, I'm not sure about that yet. So yeah, GG's. So in this matchup, we'll be going up against Lucian, Callista, Viejo. So this is going to be a deck that's trying to tuber level Lucian, which is respectable. Very respectable. I, I like this combination right here because we don't play a lot of units in a deck, right? So it is a good chance that we draw into the... Uh, a second sun work first or at the very least able to thin out our deck which is pretty nice now this is gonna be really good oh wow oh wow oh wow i don't think opponent has a way to stop this right i think we just transform him right away because at most they could have single combat i think we transform him right away 
This means that now every single Legion Deserter that we have in our deck is also a Sunward's Posse. So now that means that we have four Sunward Posse's in our deck. We have three Eater Improvements. I'm kind of scared of Sharp Side. We have three Eater Improvements, right? Whatever, if he has the Sharp Side, he has the Sharp Side. We have three Eater Improvement and three Blood for Blood. Putting in some not having the Sharp Side. Was baiting us out? Oh, well, they was baiting us out because they have the Dunspeaker. What is playing Dunspeaker? What are we playing against? I like into stress defense now instead of the Jury Rig. So that we're able to potentially draw. Because everything that we draw should be cheap enough for us to play. Except for like Decimate. That's a nice combo, by the way. And of course, we draw the Decimate. The one, the one that I talked about that is actually not good for us to draw. Hmm. You know what? Let's go like this. We're pushing 8 damage. It sucks losing the decimate, right? Because we're pushing 10 damage. So opponent is like almost about to die already. But we're not able to actually kill them. Because we lost our burn. Now we could predict into more burn. Opponent is going full ham. Oh wow. I think that should be that's that should be game now, right? This is 12, 15 exactly. We're gonna need to have concerted strike or single combat. The bad thing is that we can't even tell. Yeah, I'm sorry, opponent. I'm I'm sorry. You kind of got a little bit high rolled by those naturally joining to the third one there. Uh this is still a decent chunk of damage, right? This is 5, 10, 11, 12. So even if the opponent is able to kill one of them, we still do 12. Yeah, this is gonna be a detain. So it's gonna be a detain here. And then opponent still goes down to three. We play get excited as well, meaning that we're able to just completely stop him. Like uh we are able to kill him with either decimate or the get excited next turn. Now because we kill this spot, the uh because we killed the other guy, he is able to buff everything up with the dumb speakers again. Fortunately, my friend, we are going to draw into nothing. Let's do the improvement. We can do the rummage here. Because opponent probably wants to be able to do something here, right? We can just block with the Daring Poros. I don't think I care. Opponent hasn't lost any units yet. So next time they steal back to the elusives. Opponent's gonna decide that it's better for them to lose the unit here. If we kill this one here, we get one back. I don't even care that we lose one here. And now what? We get this one back anyway, so we can copy it. And we have another three going on again. Opponent just wanted to be able to buff his uh his senas but then he's gonna lose anyways this is lethal on the open because of the three skills and he also kills his whole board so this is pretty nasty and we even top deck the decimate no reason to slow roll the opponent let's just boom 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 again and there we go we had the combo a little bit against a meme deck right the opponent's playing dumb spiders in 2022 but it is what it is ggs so in this matchup, we'll be going up against Bar Set. This is bad because we don't really have good blockers for Set. I guess we have the Scuttle Crab, uh, the Jewelry Rig, which is not bad. We have the combo already with some Workers Plus Improvement. So maybe we keep this hand and keep the Jewelry Rig as like a burst speed blocker against Set. Everything else seems a little bit awkward here. Or oh, we even get a... Okay. Okay, okay. This is gonna be a pretty nasty game now. We're gonna have triple sun workers on the field. We're gonna have triple sun workers on the field. The problem is that it does cost me four to summon each one of them because of the either improvement costing two and then themselves them also costing two. We can push one damage here. Okay, we're not gonna push the one damage here. I'm not sure if that's worth it for the opponent, by the way. I feel like, I feel like me pushing one damage would have been okay. 
the Yuri Rig here to kill the Gringley, just so that we don't take this much damage. I think it's fine. So I think this is fine, just so that we don't take this much damage. Everything else is going to die next time. Technically, we could have saved the Yuri Rig for like I said, which might have actually been okay. I just didn't want to take 5 damage right off the bat. Maybe that's going to that's gonna come to bite me, potentially, actually. So that's going to come to bite me, that fact that I actually didn't... Um, so this is gonna die, right? He's gonna have to have twin right here. Yeah, this is gonna die regardless. So he loses his elusive that got hit by the Gringley Elder and it still loses its damage. We can always summon. We can always do the survivor skills like straight up next turn. Or we can do the Pearl Cannon now. Okay, so the Pearl Cannon is probably better. Wow. This is gonna be such a punish. This Pearl Khan is going to be such a punish. Wow. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> That's a punish. That's a punish if I ever seen one. So what do you do here? Wow. And then this is just going to be lethal next time. Because of the elusives. And the sun work posy? Wow. Wait, wow, this is nasty. This is abs I'm not gonna I'm not gonna spend it right now until I see what the opponent does. Nine mana, so he could have homecoming, I guess. Double homecoming. Recall, deny. Lifts up one, and then we just vision and we win the game. Woo! Wow. Had to literally deny one of the sun work posy <laughs> spells. That was nasty. You can see the power of this deck when you draw the combo that early. It just becomes so nasty. GG's. Hey, welcome back everybody. Hope you enjoyed those games. And now you can see why I sounded so excited as I was breaking down the deck. Because this deck is absolutely funny when it works. When it works. Obviously, as every non-meta deck is, usually it's very hard to get the combo off. But when it works... It just clicks. It's so, so good. So, how do we do the mulligan here? I'm still trying to figure that out myself, right? You you saw how important it is to just start converting these guys. Because the earlier you convert them, it means that every time you draw the center, it's already going to be a, 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 a posse already. So, it ends up being like another posse that you can use. And if you can convert them into the posse right away, then you're able to do blood for blood, either improvement, etc. To get even more of them on the field and start cleaning the opponent's board. So with that said, I think it is important that if you get this in your hand to keep it because you do have a lot of ways to, to copy that with Blood for Blood and either Improvement. So you get this in your hand and you can copy it one of those that. Another card that I like to keep is the Great Physician. So because the Great Physician is almost always going to guarantee that we draw another Sun Workers or a Legion Deserter or just another Physician which we can try to repeat the process again. Uh, so it's very likely that this is able to draw you into one of your units that you need. So in Mulligan, I would say some worker, physician are the main things you want to see. Uh, everything else you can pretty much kick out. Uh, sometimes if I have a physician, I will keep like a jury rig so that I have a discard fodder for it. But otherwise, there's no reason to keep it unless you have the, already have the physician in the field. Uh, yeah, that would be my suggestion. Time trick can be a little bit question mark. I don't think it's necessary because it, it does cost a lot. Um, everything else you want to draw into it later on, especially survivor skills can be really bricky if you get too many of them. Uh, so yeah, just some workers, physician, and then kind of go from there. That'd be my tip for Mulligan. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed those games. As always, if you like the content, please make sure to like the video below and comment below if you kind of like this deck. Uh, you can also subscribe to us. We post LOR videos every single day. You can also find us on Twitch at Twitch Tournament, where we stream three to four times a week. And you can also find us on Twitter and Discord. The links to those are both in the description below. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you all again tomorrow.